What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. As you can see, I'm not alone today. No way. Thanks for having me. Thanks for, thanks for sitting down with me Always again, man. Man, when you come out to Nana, I'm here to explain everything for you. For those of you who don't know, this is my brother Dennis and uh, great guy, man. Always great to sit down and talk with him. So uh, yeah, we're, we're fortunate to be here in Nana Plaza. We're sitting at Witchcraft today and uh, they've been very gracious to let us set up here for a few minutes and uh, just go ahead and talk to you about a few things that uh, we think you might want to know about before you get here during the high season. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dig in. All right, we're going to talk about it. So we're going to bring up what? Let's, first of all, let's tell people what the high season are for those who don't know. You bring up the first word. When is it for you? For high season, uh, typically it's the beginning of November, uh, technically through the end of February. Um, but as we were talking... We've seen it where high season goes all the way through April because Sogran. And that's a big party festival here. A lot of people come out. Some of my biggest months when I was working at the dollhouse, and I'm sure it's going to be here when I'm working at Lollipop, it's going to be phenomenal. A lot of people come out. Make sure you bring your raincoat because it's a lot of water, baby. Yeah, and, and for those of you who, who are new, um, Songkran is the, uh, the Thai New Year, and it's, as well as it's, it's a water festival. It's all about rejuvenation and, you know, starting, starting anew. So. so you get blasted with water. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. the water is warm. Sometimes it's cold, and when it's cold, it's cold. But it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Crazy, crazy time. So, okay, we talk about the high season coming and rolling in. We're almost about there right now. We are about a week away for Halloween, which is also very cool here because they take their Halloween very seriously. And uh, one of the things I really enjoy is they like to be very ghoulish. They, uh, they come with, with, with makeup and scars and blood hanging down. Uh, that, to me, is very interesting because Halloween was never really conceptual here until I'd say about the last 10, 15 years. Now everybody's doing it. And it's really a lot of fun. A lot of Thai people like a great excuse to get dressed up. Oh and, yeah, uh, oh yeah. You know, yeah. do something a little different. Absolutely, absolutely. If you're here then, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Come on down to Nana. It should be a lot of wild people having good times here. So one of the differences between high season and, and the rest of the year is that it's the winter time here and the rainy season is over with the weather is very temperate and so it draws a lot a lot of people both bangkok patia hua hin and and phuket all those who love the beaches and those who like to come party in the city it even draws people that like to go up to chiang mai which is is also very nice that time absolutely of year. man fantastic up there so uh there are going to be a lot of people here um on average about 40 million people uh come to thailand uh, throughout the year as tourists and what about 40 or 50 percent of that comes during high season? Oh absolutely man it's it, it can be very very chaotic a lot of people especially in these uh, high density areas where you got like Nana, Soy Cowboy, Pat Pong, Face uh, on Road all those people are gonna come out they're gonna hang out party time New Year's Eve is off the charts here every year it's been phenomenal don't forget, they have this very, very unique thing that they do the international fireworks competition down in Pratia the last weekend in November. That's an awesome situation. They have 10 companies doing fireworks shows off the charts. If you ever love fireworks, those two nights, you should look it up. Pratia International Fireworks Contest. That's uh, right at the end of November. Fantastic, man. Yeah, I thought I'd throw that in. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's a, that's a, that is a great event. Oh, it's amazing, man. I, I love going there for those. People don't realize how many international events they host in Patia. Beyond, long. beyond. And that one is, you know, two days long. And we're, we're talking about two and a half, three hours worth of fireworks each night. And it's a competition, so they're bringing out the big guns. They're doing yeah. their best. Big stuff. Yeah. Big stuff. Um, so let's talk about... Uh, well, we're here in Nana Plaza, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Sure. Over the last several months, uh, Nana Plaza has been going through some changes. Uh, some bars have changed ownership and kept the same name. Some places have rebranded themselves. Some have changed the way they're operating a little bit. There's been new management coming in. Hey, let's put a little plug in there for me at Lollipop. I'm the manager over there now. I'm hanging out there doing my thing. Normally out on the outside deck, so if you see me, uh, say hello to me. I'd be more than happy and gracious to say hello back to you. Maybe even buy me a drink and I might buy you one back. Buy him a drink, man. Buy him a drink. All right. Um, so 
the whole the whole point of that is is for those of you who have been here before, uh, some of your larger favorite clubs are still here, but uh, a bunch of the smaller clubs, uh, again, they they've been going through some changes, and uh, there's some new stuff. There's new stuff to do and see here. Absolutely, you're you're going to be mesmerized because whenever you come in here, it's always a very unique situation. You've got all the different clubs. You can walk into one, say, yeah, this is a spot. Or you walk in, you say, no, nope, you go to the next one. You have so many clubs to go to. And we're always looking for the people that are going to come in and settle down. But for the most part, I find a lot of people that just come here, they hit it one bar, had a drink, hit the next one, have a drink. And then they come back to the one that they like the most and they settle in. So you got a lot of options, a lot of choices here at Nana. To help you guys uh, understand what's available here and to you know maybe make some informed decisions before you get here, go over to BangkokNights.com. That's BangkokNights.com, where we have posted reviews on almost every bar here in Nana Plaza. The ones that we haven't done, we're getting to. Same thing for Soy Cowboy. Uh, we have been working our way through uh, Pat Pong as well. So go over there and, and, and check it out. Uh, and, and so that you can have an idea of, of what to expect here. We got some other things in the works, like, you know, detailed maps and whatnot, but for right now, we, we just, we got a bunch of great reviews and, and we keep them fresh, so. Yeah, you're gonna definitely enjoy that site. We've been uh, trying to help out, get it really, you know, set up in a way where somebody can go in, zero in exactly where you wanna go on a given night. And there's so much information in there, you'll be able to know exactly where you wanna go on any given night just by reading up for the reviews, and all the good little stories that we're going to have, you know, placed in there. So by all means, check it out. Yeah, in addition to the reviews, we got blog posts. We cover nightclubs. We cover all the go-go's. We cover other bars and restaurants, you know, that are definitely noteworthy. Sportsman, game, German yep. beer house. Lots of good stuff. Good food. Yep. Lots of sports. The game. I don't want to forget the game. That, that's my cheers. They, they've been great to me over the years. So. The game. Yeah. These are all. They, nobody pays for these. These are these are our personal plugs. That's right. So personal plugs. Um, so yeah, so that's this, what's happening in Nana. Uh, what do you want to bring up now? We talk about the uh, the pricing. Yeah, let's talk about service fees for a, uh -oh. a few minutes. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, so, you know, I cover service fees regularly. I try to keep you guys up to date. Um, and, and the chances of service fees shifting dramatically during the high season is pretty slim. But you should know that with so many people here and so much money in the economy um and the 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 entertainment has so many choices they they don't they have more choices than any other time of year they will be choosier and they will be looking for uh clientele that is willing to uh maybe go in above and beyond what the normal is so if you get hit with the service rate if you're quoted a rate that's higher than the rates we've been talking about throughout the year or what you've been typically used to don't be put off by that don't be shocked by it nope. I got some videos you know talking about how to how to deal with that uh, but the, the the long and short of my advice is don't let 500 bot stand in between you and the good time that you're looking to have don't let a thousand bot stand in between you and the good time you're looking to have you flew halfway around the world you spent thousands on airline tickets and hotels and whatnot it's not the time to be a cheap Charlie. That's right, absolutely not. And I've seen this happen many a times where the guy said to me, oh, she wants this. And I said, hold on here. You came all the way from some part of the world and you're gonna let 500 baht, 1,000 baht make or break the difference? Absolutely don't do that. And let's, let's not forget, you know, inflation is everywhere and it's also happening here too. You know, the, everybody that's involved in this service industry, they all understand it. Just be part of it. Be willing to say, okay, I'm willing to part with a little bit more than normal or than my past previous years and just be part of it. It's, a, it, it's not that hard and, and I understand, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a dollar amount, but at the end of the day, love has no price. Enjoy what you can enjoy now. Yeah, don't, don't be cheap, man. Don't let a couple dollars stand nope, in between, not worth it. Not <clears throat> between worth you it. and the good time that, that, that you've been having with, with, uh, with somebody. Absolutely. So, but with that said, yes. again, go to, go to Bangkok Nights and watch other videos on my channel where I talk about other venues where their, their pricing is, is pretty much the same all year absolutely. long. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I don't want to name drop in particular. No, we can't do that at this but, point. Uh, places along Soy 7-1. Very good service. Uh, some, some of the best service in the area, actually. 
Yep. Um, yep. So yeah, check that out. So with that said, uh, it's been a great day. Yeah. It's going to be an awesome night here at uh, Nana. We're uh, gearing up. It's just getting started. The flow is starting to happen right now. Looking forward to seeing you guys whenever you get here. By all means, give a shout out to uh, JC or me. And uh, we appreciate you uh, tuning in. You want to stay on the inside track? Consider joining the Telegram group. No, it's not free, but it's valuable. It is hella valuable. Absolutely valuable. 70 dudes in there. We got tons of information. We don't flush it so that it's fully searchable. We got interactive maps on there. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great place to uh, meet, meet other like-minded guys. Um, that's also where we arrange our meetups, whether they're official or unofficial. You know, we're, that's where, how we kind of keep track of who's where. You know, brothers come and go, and uh, you know, that, that's that's where we do a lot of our of our uh, socializing. You know, in preparation for actually getting together and going out and doing the things we do here in real life together. Let me uh, just, I've seen uh, JC roll out with some of the guys, and I tell you one thing, I didn't have that when I came here the first time in 2007. It is the most invaluable thing you can have. You're going to make mistakes, but he's going to eliminate a lot of the big mistakes that all of us have had through the years. So by all means, that's a huge advantage to you. Hang out with JC. The man knows the town. All right. Dennis, brother. Brother, always a pleasure, man. Always great seeing you, man. Appreciate you your time. You. Absolutely. From Bangkok, Thailand, Nana Plaza, it's your boy JC. Peace out.